ora. Uh, my name is Daniel Sill. I'm a principal at the Ufa Ordinaries. I work in Tino Rain and Tino Shimon for Women. Um, it's great to be part of this event and I just want to say thanks to all the organisers for making it happen. I am all too aware how much work it is. Thank you very much. Um, our base maps product makes it fast and simple to create maps using our free open and authoritative topographic data. We collect aerial imagery sourced from local and regional councils around New Zealand into um, a single national view. We then provide WMTS and XYZ services so that our customers can easily bring aerial imagery into their maps. This service includes Sentinel-2 satellite imagery at low zoom levels and then brings rural imagery into view as you zoom in. This is 30 centimeter rural imagery outside of Wanaka. <laughs> Sorry, to I'll, I'll, is this good? This is good. Do you want me to start again? No. <laughs> um, okay, aerial imagery. Uh, we also produce a VEX tile service from the latest Topo 50 data. Uh, in terms of our customers, these services are used for our own web mapping purposes. For example, in uh, land record search shown in the top left, uh, Scion Research uses base maps imagery with deep learning to extract exotic forest boundaries as part of their digital forests project. Uh, Coast to Coast Multi Sport event used base maps as a backdrop for 3D flyovers and athlete tracking. Um, what I should have had on the slide is that OpenStreetMap has a base map service in it um, so that mapping can be done off the aerial imagery there. Uh, over the past three years, we have served around 5 billion tiles with 140 terabytes of data transferred. Uh, QGIS has a strong showing when examining user agents, but most used most uses by web browsers. Uh, the base maps project uses and supports a variety of open source software. We regularly fund GDAL improvements, including the creation of the cloud optimized GeoTIFF driver. We use Sharp for extremely fast image rendering, and our homepage is built with MapLibre. Uh, we've supported the Stack ecosystem and store metadata about our images using the Stack specification. We also build the product in the open on GitHub. Uh, so what is actually new? Uh, we have added 223 scanned aerial imagery surveys. Um, this is more than double the amount of imagery that we previously had available. These were previously only available as individual photo frames on retro lens. They are now all available via base maps, along with two combined configs. Um, these were georeferenced and also rectified thanks to an initiative from Ministry for Primary Industries. This is uh, imagery from mid-1970s through to 1990. While this one combines imagery from 1990 through to the mid 2000s, uh, layers drop down on here supports type head filtering, so you can put in 1988 and, for example, reveal some Gisman imagery that was taken in response to Cyclone Bowler. Um, very similar region, obviously, to what uh, was hit by Cyclone Gabriel earlier this year. There's a lot to explore here, including some particularly nice looking color film imagery. Uh, obviously I like using pictures of Wanaka, um, but it was a lot smaller in 2003. Base Maps also supports the open graph protocol, uh, generating a preview image when base maps links are shared. Uh, this works on a bunch of different apps. I'm not team, I, I don't know. Um, New Zealand Imagery has also been sponsored by the AWS, uh, AWS Open Data Sponsorship Program to become part of the registry of open data on AWS. This provides a public bucket that's free to access. Don't need an AWS account. It's got our entire aerial imagery archive in its cloud optimized geo to format. Um, this is also the source bucket for base maps and the lens data service so that it will always be up to date. The data will land there first, moving to the other two. Um, it is organized by region and survey with stack metadata. We are currently standardizing elevation surveys to apply for sponsorship in the same way. Uh, in the coming months, BaseMaps team will be working to create national elevation services that leverage the vast amount of LiDAR data. Um, you heard from a couple of our analysts earlier today. Please check out the other talks from my Deutsche Tech Analyst colleagues uh, for more detail in the coming days. Thank you very much. Apologies for not speaking too much.